All right. So as we jump into the agenda, a couple things stuck out in terms of like updates that I wanted to share with the group. Um, just wanted to continue to encourage you guys to, you know, push towards expectations related to, you know, post convening deliverables. Um, if there's clarification that's needed, you know, just be in contact, uh, contact with me around what what's needed there. Um, we've been throwing some extra support at you, which we'll get into and name specifically here in a bit. Um, but a little bit execution is coming up. We'll be testing this, these concepts that teams have created this whole time very soon and, and may have already started that process already. And so things again are ramping up. We're, we're at a critical stage of the, the program and we want to make sure you guys are set up to success with success to then support your teams. Um, and with that, um, saw an opportunity along with our um, RLI internal team, Seth and Beachy, to again provide more support based on some of the feedback we were seeing, some of the um, some of the questions being asked in team meetings and such. And so, um, develop the um, <clears throat> idea around our TLCs, our team learning communities, which all of you have probably engaged with in one iteration or another one yet. You just might not have heard it um, named this, and so wanted to bring this to our space today to clarify what this is. And so I'm gonna just share a little bit very briefly about what the vision is for this. Essentially, um, the TLCs are just purpose to give um, teams different opportunities to have different types of support. And the, these types of support manifest in you know, five different pathways. And I'm gonna show you what those pathways look like here in a moment. Um, and I'll share a little bit about what, what we um, covered in some of our meetings a little bit more formally and informally. Um, but as you can see, um, the Jamboard here, oh, I'm sorry, and I had the wrong version, let's see. Yep. <laughs> All right, bear with me here. But the purpose of the Jamboard is just to capture how effective teams think these, you know, um, team learning communities are going, what they what they think um, uh, is necessary for them to like move forward in different ways um, with, uh, you know, their little bits. How are they using the resources shared in some of these pathways to move the work forward? And actually, let me type it in that way. There we go. Um, thank you for waiting for that. But there's very, it's very simple Jamboard that teams will then, um, you know, lean into here. And some iterations of these learner communities um, have manifested differently for each team. Some teams have worked with the researcher to um, uh, discover what it looks like to replicate and test their own little bit in other communities. Some teams have met with um, specific organizations who do the same work that they do to pick their brain about what that experience has looked like. A TLC could also look like one of our expert bench members coming to your team meeting to share more explicitly about um, what their exp experiences were maybe in cohort one as a coach or participant. So again, five pathways that teams have engaged in. Again, you all have engaged with these in some way or another already. And so the ask with teams is, and you'll see me and Seth popping in in your meetings to like close this communication loop around TLCs. But we'll be sharing this Jamboard with you and your teams. I've already met with um, Southwest Edgecombe High School and um, Eastern Star to share this Jamboard. And if I haven't met with you, it's upcoming, um, but you're getting a preview now. So that's great. Um, and so the ask is that each team kind of capture some questions regarding some of the resources and learnings that have been shared um, from, your, from our experts. You can just kind of jam those here. And then on the next slide, you uh, how do you how does your team plan to engage with the learning that you guys received in your TLCs? How are you using the resources shared? Um, and be specific about what that plan looks like because that plan will help you forge ahead to your next big um, big step in your little bit. And then lastly, what are you most curious about around executing your little bit so we can use this data to kind of make sure we have those spaces of learning in place for our next convening. And then lastly, this is just a visual cue for you guys to reorient back to those pathways that I named earlier. And the ask is if, if you're satisfied with how you've engaged with our expert bench, our researchers, ROI staff adding additional supports. 
you're satisfied with those, that's great. If you feel like you have what you need from those exchanges, great. That is what TLCs have been for. If you feel like you need more and want to explore different pathways with your team, I encourage you to you know, visit this document with your team um, and figure out which other pathways together you guys would like to explore. So just wanted to highlight the um, learning community, team learning communities really quickly with you in this space. Um, any questions on TLCs before we pivot to funding? All right, sounds good. And so um, just wanted to reiterate the funding process. Um, if you guys have any, you know, curiosities about, you know, the funding process, I linked that information here in just some slides I pulled out from our last convening, just so you have, you can, you know, put hands on it quickly if you need it for your teams. So please feel free to uh, refer back to this document if you need that information. And I'll also link it in the team deliverables folder if you want to reference it there as well. We have one team who submitted a funding application. So um, and um, feel free to ask questions um, to myself, Seth, anybody that you've engaged with around the funding process as you and your teams figure out um, what their path forward is related to funding. Any questions about the funding process? Um, the documents for the application have been shared with you all with teams. Um, they're also linked in those slides I just shared. Um, and so if you need those, they will be there um, for you again in the team deliverables folder. Okay. All right, we're moving right along. Just wanted to reorient us in some reminders today. Um, we're trying really hard as an organization internally to keep a practice of replying to, you know, um, emails to coaches uh, within 48 hours. Um, we are really trying to um, lean into that so we can stay as communicative as possible and would invite you to maybe adopt that as a personal practice if you so choose. Um, the reason for this 40 hour window is because a lot of times we're working, you know, um, very siloed as contractors, right, as coaches, as facilitators. And so for us to be able to be nimble with some of the things we might need from coaches and information we're acquiring about your teams, that might require you know, some, some quicker communication. And so um, feel free to lean into that with us as a, a personal practice um, and let me know if there's other opportunities for fidelity with emails that you like to explore in our one-on-one -on -one check -ins. Um Continue to complete those timesheets. You guys are doing an amazing job with that. I, I just would love to extend appreciation for that, as well as the um, uh, progress reports. I've noticed a big uptick in how um, we as a group are orienting to really leaning into completing that document in a timely fashion. And those updates help me kind of like troubleshoot in between co in convenings, what might need be needed from teams and what you guys might need as coaches. So continue to do that. Um, because it's noticed and it's appreciated because it just helps me, you know, help you better and it helps you help your team better when I can give you the information that you're requesting there. Um, any questions on reminders here? Any reminders that you guys have that you think would be helpful um, to elevate here as well from a coaching lens? All right. <clears throat> what's coming up so just wanted to orient us in our post five convening deliverables at this stage teams have should should have made progress and identified progress towards that big step that they want to take whatever that is so if that means they want to completely scrap their little bit and create a new one if they want to update the one that they have and make that super tight if they want to go back for more empathy interviews and get a little bit more whatever that looks like for teams um, we should we should have taken that step by now and have clearly identified what that step needed to be and move, and move forward with that. We also should have refined our pitch at this point um, and, and share that with those um, high power stakeholders identified in the stakeholder influencer um, document that we did earlier in our program. And so those are where we are with those post convening deliverables. Any questions on those deliverables? I'm, I am curious, and I've heard from some of you individually and seen the work in the team spaces, but we'll be curious to hear if anybody has any questions or um, 
any offerings that they want to lift up in this moment to talk about what those deliverables mean for their team? Yeah. Um, I actually have a question. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I know what a pitch is, and I think I, I, I might have been moving during the last convening um, that we had when it was probably discussed, but um, I can definitely, and we are talking about the pitch already, but who are we pitching to? To like, so in my situation, would we be pitching to the church council, the church leaders? And basically, um, you know, we want them to understand the importance of the work that we're trying to do and the changes we're trying to make. Yes, that is exactly right. A pitch is just like your elevator pitch, Dr. MW. Like what would the team's three minute pitch be about Eastern stars a little bit, right? And so, oh, we're going to do this, this, and this to help support our youth leaders in the church and this is why right so think along those lines I think would would be spot on with how you help coach your team through making the pitch and I will say that the pitch while it is, it does feel short it is an important reflection point because we're going to see that show up in other spaces in our little bit right and so as you're testing your little bit you might be able to see a way to make a connection to the pitch as you're testing a little bit right and so that's just another method for you guys to collect data um, around like what you want to be true at the end of the program and how the little bit leaned into that. Is that helpful? Very much so. Thank you. Perfect. Great. Great yes. question, by the way. And um, I think um, that was linked in some of like the post convening instructions, Dr. MW, um, after convening five. And so I'll make sure that um, that's uh, elevated in spaces where coaches can see it as well in the coach deliverable folder. Courtney, I, I had a, a, a quick question and um, and I could and should have emailed you, but I think it, it, it may be a quick answer. Um, so we were, so the, you know, highlighted in the stakeholder analysis, the top, top left um, quadrant of, of, I forget, high power, low interest, I think that was it. Um, so the person in the um, stakeholder in that box um, or, or the most significant one was um, the superintendent. And we thought that was a, a bit, um, we didn't think that that would be an appropriate person to do this pitch to because it's a little, um, I don't know. It just didn't seem like an, a, an appropriate stakeholder at this stage in the game. Um, so. Is that okay for us to, to tweak it? Or is there is there a way that, that, that our pitch can be made to someone like a superintendent that has relevance? Like I, we didn't really see it being relevant to that person at this particular stage. Right. So just to re, reground in what that stakeholder activity is, the stakeholder activity is purpose to help you guys clearly identify which, which groups of people have the most impact as it relates to perhaps funding, sustainability, engagement, et cetera. And so with that, the stakeholder activity is broken up into those who have high power influence all the way to those who have low power um, influence but have high interest in the program itself. And so I would push the team's thinking to, you know, not feel any, any type of pressure or uh, reservations around sharing your pitch with the superintendent because for me you know you you might say why and the team might say why but I say why not because at a certain point the superintendent if this gets traction the superintendent is indeed going to need to know about what's happening in school communities because there might be questions about it that he can feel with his you know constituents there's so many different layers to what a, a, a superintendent could offer in terms of feedback, just, just from a high level zoomed out perspective that the team might not be fully um, considering. And I know that there might be some tensions around, you know, such a, a high, you know, um, lever position, right? And the need to be perfect. And this is an opportunity for us to push past analysis paralysis here. And so um, don't get caught up. Um, I would push you to push the team not to maybe get caught up in, um, you know, the person itself, but the mission of the little bit itself. 
because that what that's what the focus is not not necessarily the person offering the support feedback etc um they matter yes but the bed is what's in focus here and how can we convey that to others through the pitch I is that I'll helpful jamila okay, that is helpful yes i think yep. also like um yeah don't underestimate the uh the the power of the that like what if the superintendent is super interested in it head up to the top of the because maybe they've never thought of something like that right. okay yeah like old folks you. with a big title <laughs> yeah 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 in, in our case okay. our folks uh had that um conversation with their department director he was really interested and let them know he's going to lot funding for the two or three projects we've been talking about and so you know, he's not intimately involved in those conversations, but is really interested in it from a more global perspective. So never, you know, like, like Jaime said, you never know what people might do with that information. Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys. And two, if, if reservations persist, um, Jamila, I would definitely um, figure out a way to maybe do the pitch in tandem with Dr. Lampron, because that's yeah. that's a conversation that's already been happening amongst us as a team anyway, connecting her to an opportunity to meet with y'all to see what, mm -hmm. you know, what's up, so to speak, with the bet and where you guys mm -hmm. are and how she can lean in and support. And so that might be a good opportunity, a opportunity to talk with her about how might you guys meet with the superintendent for like a quick 15 minute. It doesn't have to be long, doesn't have right. to be super formal. It could be like a 15 minute Zoom call, literally. You guys mm. hop on, connect, say hello, and then ground and, um, or not, not even ground, tell what it is that you're doing, sharing the pitch, share the pitch. Because again, if that pitch is, has all the components that we've named here and in our convening, the <clears throat> superintendent will leave that space having a connection to what the work you guys are doing and having a better understanding because of the pitch, even in a short way, which is the goal yeah. of the pitch period, so. Right, for sure, yep, okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. These are great questions, guys, by the way, and I'll try to capture some notes on, in the, um, on the back end as well, if you would like to refer back. And thanks coaches for all your offerings to support Jamila. She continues to push Southwest in there thinking, I know it's hard for teachers to kind of, um, you know, teachers like to plan. I'm a teacher, we all can agree. If you have that teaching background, there's a lot of planning that, that happens um, and a lot of thought processes and a lot of what if then, but we have to really decenter that thinking right now. And so um, there's certainly um, a push for that and a, and a need to do that in this moment as we, as we forge ahead. So if I can continue to assist with that, please let me know. We're gonna get back to our agenda here. We're almost, um, we're doing great on time, but do wanna circle up on a few more things um, if possible. Can everybody see my screen again? Okay, I just reshared, just wanna check for that because I am experiencing some tech challenges. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you for confirming. All right, so as we close out the what's coming up um, segment of our time, um, would love to give you guys a preview of what's ahead in convening um, six. Now I'm gonna share my um, the curriculum guide as well. And we're gonna to work to share this um, in convening six as well with um, teams, just so teams can also have that, that um, high level overview of like what's to come so they can be prepared. Um, but as I scroll down to uh, where we're gonna get most of our information from, let me know um, if you need anything related to how you can prepare. Usually I send a, a, a message a week out um, with some like pre-work or, you know, anything coaches can do to prep for that time. And so if you uh, need more time to prep or if you find yourself needing more information or whatever that is, please let me know. But in convening six, we aim to do um, a couple of things. So we will, um, oh, actually, and this is the internal, external, but it's okay. We'll reflect on um, our little bits. Um, we'll pitch update potentially, but but the most important part of this um, convening is our panel. And let me share the internal one because that has a little bit more information related to who we'll be inviting to our panel. 
Um, but we'll have a panel at the top of our time where we've invited some of our previous um, cohort coaches and participants to join us. And so we'll have um, Kim Crystal and Heidi join us in, during our time. They, they are a collection of, again, previous team mem teams from um, cohort one and coaches. And so they'll have a, they'll have some, we'll have some questions for them. And then um, we'll have the, the uh, panel, uh, excuse me, the teams engage with the panel in that way. And then after that, we'll talk about what it means to have a live little bit worked out. And then we'll do some pitch practice. And some of this will be updated. Um, Melissa, uh, we've actually um, talked through some of this and maybe might not use, utilize Melissa, um, excuse me, you and Emily in this way, but we've um, thought about some other things. And Seth actually will be leading this time for us in our convening. He'll be leading our time around how we'll execute a live little bit, what that means, what that could look like. Um, so just wanted to share that, that um, look ahead to you guys so you kind of have a general sense of what we'll be up to there there's a couple of key components with this convening that are different the panel obviously being the the difference here um and we want to design this a little bit more um uh intentionally not that other convenings haven't been intentional but the intention of this particular convening needs to be centered around how teams can really test those little bits and we're hoping to achieve that with um with this convening. And so when you get your one week reminder update that I usually send out ahead of each convening, you'll see some more changes to this potentially where we'll have our slides, we'll have the agenda and all that. And you'll see, you know, any changes made there. But this is the, the what I just shared is the general layout of, of our time. Also, at the end of uh, phase two, we will have our one-on-one -on -one check ins again, like we normally do as per our RLI management structure agreement. Um, each coach is to meet with me, you know, once a, a phase. And so uh, we will do that towards the end of the phase. The end of phase two will happen just before September. And so in a couple of weeks, I'll reach out uh, with a reminder and a link. So you guys can connect with me for a 30 minute, maybe even 45 this time, because I think that was a, a noticing from last time that, you know, we needed some more time together. So, because we were chatting and learning together and checking in on a team. So um, be on the lookout for information about that from me. Any other questions? I'm gonna um, go back to our agenda really quickly to make sure we've covered everything. But as you guys, um, Consider what's been shared here today. Anything um, left to be said about how we can support you or how we can continue to support teams? No, nothing comes to mind. Um, thank you for your support today and coming to our meeting. Uh, it was really helpful. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Um, I enjoy coming to the team spaces. If if you need more of that, I try to get around to you guys' as groups fairly often. Um, but if you would like more, more or need more, need me to be at a specific meeting for coverage or just from for some extra, you know, support, just let me know when that is and if there's a specific day in mind, um, just so I can calendar that in and account for that in my time for the week. So I can make sure I'm there for you guys when you when you have that specific need. All right. Um, well, we've gone through quite a bit today. We've talked a little bit about um, some challenges that we've seen between now and the last meeting, and some strategies we've developed on how we approach that, those challenges. We've also talked about our TLCs, which are really exciting, and also wanted to remind you about TLCs, that there'll be some incentives offered for teams as they engage with these communities. And then um, we've touched a little bit about the funding process. The next deadline for the funding process, uh, excuse me, funding applications for teams is coming up in August. So I wanted to highlight that again as well. Um, and then related to coach deliverables, just continue forging ahead with those in the same ways you've done um, between now and last meeting, which have been really, really strong and positive. Um, and also make sure that teams are on par with those deliverables. I did send out calendar holes with just some gentle reminders around um, those deadlines as prescribed in the post convening work. Um, and I will also send out the um, some of the information that we've summarized here today to you guys. So you have some of these links to reference. 
Um, and we revisited the curriculum guide to talk about what convening six will look like, our panel and all the fun stuff we have planned there. And then uh, lastly, the final reminder of um, our one-on-ones. Did I miss anything? Is there anything else that we feel like needs to be said in this space that will be helpful as you guys forge ahead with your teams? I'll be I'll I'll be the squeaky wheel at the end of the meeting. Oh, um, I was just curious how data collection is going. I was a joint. Darts, I just wanted to check in and be that squeaky wheel. How's it going? I'm hoping, uh, Melissa, that we're able to get some things pushed a little bit of start again with our, our team tomorrow. So um, looking forward to that conversation. Um, Jamila, I know you're, oh, go ahead, Tara, go ahead. Oh. Um. What were you gonna say? I'm sorry, Jamila, to to pop in. What were you gonna? I was just gonna mention that um, we I presented what we talked about, Melissa, that like specific indicator to measure, and they're feeling really confident about that, much clearer. Um, so thank you, and. Um, we're, we're meeting on Friday to figure out what that can look like now before implementation. And we are in an interesting place. Um, so we, we move forward, but right now we're having to, to step backwards uh, or a step back a little bit um so we're just um kind of revamping again but but we have um uh, like the uh, the tool that the, the tool that you gave us um in the forefront as well as you know just trying to stay focused on the on the big picture um but we're just kind of revamping um and and we are definitely still keeping in mind you know the uh the data collection um, kind of snippets uh, that you know that you uh, discuss with us in terms of just keeping it keeping it as simple as possible um, and as manageable as possible as well. So, yeah. thanks. You know, Jamila, I've been there. I appreciate those pain points when you're kind of just swirling and you keep swirling and um, totally totally get it. And if you if if a second you know set of ears or eyes is ever helpful, just let me know. Don't hesitate. To reach out. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Right. And just thank you all again for kind of helping me come into these teams. I was sharing with Courtney one of my learnings and kind of um, challenges has been realizing that I, I, I have a little bit of a role that feels a little bit like like a stepmother. That's like the best analogy I could like. I feel like I have to like go through you guys. That's like the the appropriate way to go through the things. And I came came along later, much after you. You were the first coach, and then I come along. Um, and so I'm kind of learning how to navigate this um, new role and dynamic too. And I just wanted to thank you all for um, not making me feel weird about it. Or you know, I I didn't know if there would be like oh I, you know turf stuff or whatever and so I just I, I I knew that ROI's coaches would all be fantastic and you all are but I just wanted to name that and thank you and yeah hey cutie oh <laughs> she heard that we got two <laughs> cuties we got Jamila's cutie and Tara's cutie Lowen and Jamila tell me um your daughter's name again her name is Joya hey Joya She's so pretty. Oh, I love it. So cute. I love to see the kids on um on these calls. It just makes me have so much joy 
because it and, and and also it'll be my kids' turn soon to come on camera at some point. So <laughs> it makes it easier for me to let that happen uh, with grace and you know patience. So um, yes, yeah. let it. <laughs> Well, thank you, Melissa, for circling up with our coaches. Um, you can, you guys can continue to, those conversations with Melissa um, as she'll be continuing to join you in your meetings. If I can support in those connections with the data in some way, um, please let me know. Um, but if we don't have anything else for the good of the order, you guys can get about six minutes of your time back, which is terrific. <laughs> so I will see you guys soon you know where you can find me and I will send you guys a summary of what we shared here today um also with all the links so you can refer back to it bye everyone have a wonderful day you guys too thank see you you too bye